Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. It's a beautiful day today, and uh, it's so nice to read God's word here underneath this huge tree. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Father, thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Father, you are with us, in us, through us. I'm with you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. It is just so beautiful. Fine weather. It is so nice. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to eat God's word. <laughs> and also, I made something. This is actually, come let me show you. That I made. This OB jam, see? Because it's quite sweet, I put some strawberry, I mean, put some grapes to complement the sweetness of it. And I don't eat that much because it's really sweet. So I have this small portion. There it is. This is the small portion of, this is what I'm going to eat. This is a huge one. <laughs> and this is a small portion of it. And so, this is my first time to actually... Uh, bake or make OB jam is a very popular dessert in the Philippines and uh, I just tried it and uh, it's quite nice actually <laughs> I wish you can have this <laughs> anyway you can bake by yourself you can see on YouTube how to bake the uh, OB jam anyway I am going to eat more importantly God's word, hallelujah, yes, because as the word says that man should not uh, live by bread alone, Jesus himself said that man should not live by bread alone, but by the words of God that proceeds from the mouth of God himself, and so I'm going to eat this and for the time being, let's go and take a walk before we read. God's word while singing song. Hallelujah. Yes, praising God. Look at this flower. So beautiful, isn't it? It's tiny. It's like a vine, you know? So, so sweet. It's so, so nice, isn't it? God is so awesome. This is amazing. <laughs> There's some flowers, tiny, whiny, tiny, weeny here. Yeah? Also, purple in color so many of it here let's go and look for more flowers maybe there is a morning glory and see whether there is a morning glory come let's go bye kitties and titties see you later <laughs> and my f cover my food as well let's go and for walk walking with jesus hallelujah father we acknowledge your presence even at this moment thank you father that yes lord you are the awesome God who is always present right now you are with us father you're with me right now <laughs> oh hallelujah praise the Lord and we glorify your father thank you for these beautiful flowers and the birds flying around oh hallelujah it is so so nice thank you father yes Lord you are the first and the last the beginning as I end the alpha and the omega he was the first oh yes he was the last, hallelujah. He was dead, but he came to life, yes, Father. He was the Alpha and the Omega, who live and die, and live forevermore. He knows our works, yes, Father, you know our works. Let's be faithful. He knows our poverty. We should endure. He knows our tribulation. We should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Who has an ear? Let him hear this green leaf heart shape. Oh, thank you, Father. Who has an ear? Let him hear 
what the spirit says to the churches he who overcome receive eternal life and he who is faithful receive the crown of life good morning glory so beautiful hallelujah purple in color lavender yes father you are faithful to us and as we are faithful to you lord yes we will receive the crown of life the crown of rejoicing the incorruptible crown the crown of glory hallelujah morning glory <laughs> this flower called morning glory and uh, something like it glorifies in the morning <laughs> beautiful oh my favorite color thank you father oh we praise you lord and we glorify you oh god your birthday of glory and honor and praise father this is so good it's so wonderful it's so awesome father thank you again for this time and opportunity for me lord to be able to come and read god's word in this beautiful place hallelujah oh we praise you lord and we glorify you father yes lord as we are faithful to you father we will receive the crown of life the crown of glory the incorruptible crown hallelujah the crown of rejoicing oh yes oh we praise you lord and we glorify you oh god you are worthy 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 of glory and honor and praise father yes it's so good hallelujah i worship you almighty god there is none like you yes father there is none like you lord i worship you O oh, prince of peace this is what i want to do i give you praise yes father that flower is so good it's green in color it's white and green oh hallelujah praising you lord for you are my righteousness yes father i worship you almighty god there is none like you hallelujah yes father there is none like you lord there is none like you no one else can touch my heart like you do yes father i should search for all eternity long and find there is none like you yes god thank you father we praise you lord and we glorify you oh god your words say of glory and honor and praise father yes so so good it's so wonderful it's so awesome all the glory and honor belongs to jesus alone the name above all names hallelujah thank you father for your for this wonderful day okay. hallelujah jesus we enthrone you yes father we proclaim you are king standing here in the midst of us yes, Lord. we raise you up with our praise hallelujah and as we worship build your throne yes father and as we worship you build your throne and as we worship build your throne come lord jesus and take your place thank the lord we praise you father we glorify you oh god hallelujah thank you jesus oh you may magnify your lord father we pray for those who are in need of your help today father whoever they may they may be wherever they may are father god be with them comfort them father for those who are in pain and suffering but those who are sick lord jesus oh god come and rescue them come father god lord and protect them cover them with your precious blood lord and by your stripes lord for those who are sick 
by your stripes lord they are healed healed from sickness and disease hallelujah oh we praise you lord and we glorify you oh god in jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen and amen hallelujah come mga mahal let's carry on reading god's word in the book of um now we will be reading the book of acts acts hallelujah Acts chapter Yes God Father Help us Lord <laughs> Okay Acts chapter 6 Yes Acts Chapter 6 chapter 6 seven men chosen to serve father as we read your word help us to understand oh god give us thy spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your father as we read your word in jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen and amen thank you father seven men chosen to serve but as the believers rapidly multiplied, there were rumblings of discontent. The Greek-speaking believers complained about the Hebrew-speaking believers, saying that their window, their widows, were being discriminated against in the daily distribution of food. So, the twelve called a meeting. <laughs> the wind is blowing. So the twelve called the meeting of all the believers, they said, We apostles should spend our time teaching the word of God, not running a food program. And so, brothers, select seven men who are well respected and are full of the spirit and wisdom, and we will give them this responsibility then we apostles can spend our time in prayer and teaching the word everyone liked this idea and they choose the following stephen a man full of faith and of the holy spirit philip prochorus nicanor timon praminas and nicholas of antioch an earlier convert to the Jewish faith. These seven were presented to the apostles who prayed for them as they laid their hands on them. So God's message continued to spread. The number of believers greatly increased in Jerusalem and many of the Jewish priests were converted too. Stephen is arrested. Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed amazing miracles and signs among the people. But one day, some men from the synagogue of freed slaves, as it was called, started to debate, to debate with him. They were Jews from Cyrene, Alexandria, Cilicia, and the province of Asia. None of them could stand against the wisdom and the spirit which Stephen spoke. So they persuaded some men to lie about Stephen, saying, We heard him blaspheme Moses and even God. This roused the people and the elders and the teachers of religious law, so they arrested Stephen and brought him before the high council. The lying, the lying witnesses said, they are liars, <laughs> witnesses against Stephen. The lying witnesses said, This man is always speaking against the holy temple and against the law of Moses. We have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy the temple and change the customs Moses handed down to us. 
at this point, everyone in the High Council started stared at Stephen because his face became as bright as an angel's. Wow, hallelujah. Stephen's face become bright like an angel. <laughs> oh, Father, thank you. Because Stephen was full of the Holy Spirit and faith. He is a man of faith. Hallelujah. Stephen is a man full of uh, a man full of God's grace and power. And he's performed amazing miracles. And he is Stephen is a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit. And his his face is looks like bright as an angel's wow <laughs> hallelujah that's the people who loves the lord who has full of faith and they really looks like face like an angel shines brightly hallelujah thank you father stephen addressed the council then the high priest asked stephen are these accusations true accusations true this is stephen replied brothers and fathers Listen to me. Our glorious God appeared to our ancestor Abraham in Mesopotamia before he settled in Haran. God told him, leave your native land and your relatives and come into and come into the land that I will show you. So Abraham left the land of Chaldeans and lived in Haran until his father died. Then God brought him here to the land where you live now, where you now live. But God gave him inheritance here, not even one square foot of land, but did promise, however, that eventually the whole land would belong to Abraham and his descendants, even though he had no children yet. God also told him that his descendants would live in a foreign land where they would be oppressed as slaves for 400 years but I will but I will punish the nation that enslaves them God said and in the end they will come out and worship me here in this place God also gave Abraham the covenant of circumcision at that time so when Abraham became a father of Isaac he circumcised him on the eighth day, and the practice was continued when Isaac became the father of Jacob, and when Jacob became the father of the twelve patriarchs of the Israelite nation. The patriarchs were jealous of their brother Joseph, and they sold him to be a slave in Egypt. But God was with him and rescued him from his troubles, and God gave him favor before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. God also gave Joseph unusual wisdom so that Pharaoh appointed him governor over all of Egypt and put him in charge of the palace. But famine came upon Egypt and Canaan. There was great misery and our ancestors ran out of food. Jacob heard that there was still grain in Egypt, so he sent his sons, our ancestors, to buy some. The second time they went, Joseph revealed his identity to his brothers and they were introduced to Pharaoh. Then Joseph sent his, for his father Jacob and all his relatives to come to Egypt, 75 persons in all. So Jacob went to Egypt. He died there as did our ancestors. Their bodies were taken to Sichim and buried in the tomb Abraham had brought for a certain price from Hamor's sons in Sichim. As the time went draw near, when God could fulfill his promise to Abraham, when God would fulfill his promise to Abraham, the number of people in Egypt greatly increased. But then a new king came to the throne of Egypt who knew nothing about Joseph. This king exploits our people and oppressed them, forcing parents to abandon their newborn babies so they would die. At that time, Moses was born, a beautiful child in God's eyes. Wow, Moses was a beautiful, 
uh, um, child in God's eyes. His parents cared for him at home for three months, and when they had to abandon him, Pharaoh's daughter adopted him. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Come, let's stop here. It's about Moses, and Moses born with a beautiful child. And we will continue again this tomorrow. And you may read again by yourself. Here it is. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we learned something. This is Stephen telling about telling the Israelites about the history of Abraham, where they came from, and about their ancestors. And so, because they were telling telling lies about Stephen that he is blasphemy doing blasphemy of God but he is actually telling the truth and telling them about the history where they came from where, where why the nation of Israel being established because it was God's promise and so we will continue on reading the book of Moses about Moses tomorrow I believe you learned something that Stephen full of <laughs> Faith and grace and of the Holy Spirit and his face shines like an angel as he was talking about the history about where they came from about how the Israel being formed the nation of Israel being formed hallelujah and now tomorrow we will read about Moses thank you mga mahal for reading God's love letter with me may the Lord bless you and keep you May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye.